Whenever Muslims are the victims of terrorism, the U.S. media barely covers it at all. If, if any, they might even not even cover it. When Muslims commit acts of terrorism, then the U.S. and Western European media cover it 24 seven. Um, here's a, uh, here's an example of what's just happening. Um, a uh, Libyan activist, uh, Hen Emery, makes an important point about the relative lack of interest on television news and stories such as the persecution of the Burmese uh, Muslims by the Buddhist establishment. Um, and what's going on is there's, uh, there's horrific attacks on the Rohingya Muslims of Burma, which have forced thousands to flee in recent days, have elicited no interest. I did keyword searches. This is the author of the, this article on uh, truthdig.com. I'll put it in the notes. Um, I did keyword searches for Rohingya Burma and Myanmar in broadcast news in a major database. I got lots of hits for the BBC and Asian news and a few from Euro news, nothing from the US news networks or cable news in the past week, nothing. As a control, I searched Hurricane Harvey and got hits from all major U.S. television media on the front page. In other words, a major human rights crisis is invisible to viewers of American television news. Now, not that we shouldn't cover Harvey. Harvey's a big, it's a big disaster. It's affecting a lot of Americans. But none of the, this doesn't get caught, reported either. You know, and he goes on and on about the human rights violations. Talks about when... Um, like when Palestinians victimize Jews in Israel, it's covered all the time, as it should be. Jews shouldn't be victimized. But when the Israelis are victimizing Palestinians, it never gets covered. It should be covered on both sides. It should be covered. On both. That's, that would be fair. Or Yemen. They never cover Yemen. I've talked about this time and time again. The worst humanitarian crisis in the world um, It's unbelievable. The United States is back in the Saudi-led war in Yemen to the hilt with log logistical support and even help in choosing targets to bomb. I did a video on that. The bombing began in spring of 2015. By now, you have a million living on the edge who could fall into starvation and just one more thing went wrong. Social scientists, they refer to that as being food insecure. There's a million people that are food insecure. You have a massive cholera outbreak not to mention the people killed or wounded by Saudi or allied airstrikes. Whenever you think of the battling sides of a war, surely we can all agree that the children being victimized are innocent. But you won't find that anywhere in the U.S. news. Nothing about Yemen. There is nothing about Yemen. When I put Yemen in the title, I run the risk of getting these videos demonetized. Or even getting a strike against me from YouTube for talking about Yemen. When uh, ISIL victims are Muslim, you never hear about that. This is a great point that this author makes. His name is uh, Juan Cole. Um, he says, in the old days, print newspapers were an important avenue for people to get news, but they have been eclipsed even by our, for our president by broadcast news. And broadcast news is doing such a bad and imbalanced job of covering the world for viewers that it should be sued for malpractice or false advertising. Right? The prejudices of top cable and network news executives are warping the consciousness of our whole country. In this bizarre world, Muslims are never victims and never presented sympathetically, while whenever some emerge as perpetrators, they are made out to be 10 feet tall. No wonder we've ended up with a president sh uh, shaped by right-wing cable and YouTube news services who want to ban Muslims. The prejudices of our billionaires are defining what news is and distorting national policy in dangerous ways. Excellent article. Excellent reporting, and it's something I've been talking about repeatedly. Sure, if we're going to talk about Muslims that are terrorists that commit horrible acts, we should. We're not, but they're never victimized. It's like we've talked about this before. When uh, a neo-Nazi or a KKK member or some white nationalist commits an act of terrorism, and it's an act of terrorism, like what happened in Portland or on that campus where they just started, they just killed people or stabbed people. They're never called terrorists. They're just lone gunmen and they suffer from mental illness. Muslims don't suffer from mental illness and then go off and commit awful things. It's just more of this one-sided corporate media nonsense. These are the stories you will not get on the corporate media. So I'm going to give them to you. 
I'm going to let you in on this. I'm going to keep you informed. And when you talk to your friends who are either, you know, conservatives or neoliberals and they don't understand what the hell is going on, let them know about this. Ask them these questions. Ask them, why, don't we, why isn't this covered? Why isn't Yemen covered? Why isn't what's happening in Burma covered right now? Why isn't that being covered? Why is it never covered? They might start waking up. I woke up. You've woken up. Get other people to wake up.